For our weekly business segment this week, we take a look at Korea's hydrogen economy as part of its broader climate goals. Our economics correspondent Lee Soo-jin joins us in the studio to discuss this topic. Soo-jin, tell us about this particular economy. Sure, Changmin. So in a hydrogen economy, hydrogen serves as a low-carbon or carbon-free energy source, reducing fossil fuel reliance and greenhouse gas emissions for transportation and power generation. South Korea has ramped up its hydrogen initiative this year, designating November 2nd as National Hydrogen Day for the first time as a legal anniversary. The government is also transferring regions into hydrogen cities, where hydrogen powers buildings and transportation. I went to one such hydrogen city myself, so let's take a look. Cities in South Korea, known for their advanced technology and vibrant culture, are now going green. And one city in Gyeonggi-do province is leading the nation's hydrogen city initiative. Hydrogen cities are cities equipped to produce, use, and transport hydrogen. Ansan City has turned to hydrogen to promote environmental sustainability and to revitalize its economy. In the city of Ansan, one of the first three hydrogen cities in the nation, 1.8 tons of gray hydrogen is produced daily at this facility with its three steam methane reforming reactors. Inside the reactor, methane, a cleaner fossil fuel, undergoes two reactions, including one with water, to produce hydrogen. But it's a rather meticulous process as the water needs to be purified. The hydrogen produced is then transported through 13 kilometers of pipelines, partially underground, two charging stations and hydrogen fuel cell power plants. The city also plans to partner with private companies to build more hydrogen charging stations, anticipating a larger demand for hydrogen vehicles due to their lower risk of fire. Hydrogen handling is already standardized, which ensures stability. When managed under high-pressure gas standards, the risk of explosion is minimal. And at this hydrogen fuel cell power plant, hydrogen is fed into fuel cells that will generate electricity through an electrochemical reaction. This electricity is currently being supplied to the hospital right next to it, as well as to more than 500 homes. But gray hydrogen has its drawbacks as carbon dioxide is emitted during production, which is why the city is developing green hydrogen produced by renewable energy such as wind. Electricity from wind turbines powers these two electrolyzers to split purified water into oxygen and green hydrogen, which is then compressed for efficient transport in tube trailers. Although this facility is still in the testing phase, the city expects technologies like this to one day be used nationwide. A hydrogen city, that's interesting. How has Korea's private sector moved to advance the hydrogen economy? Well, for one, major companies are also contributing to nationwide hydrogen infrastructure efforts. Hyundai Motor deployed the first hydrogen car carrier at Pyeongtaek Port last month, and on Wednesday it was announced that SK ENS will invest over 3, million, 3 trillion won, or around 2 billion US dollars, in hydrogen energy plants in the city of Poryong. This comes as the Prime Minister shared the government's plans to increase hydrogen's energy share to 10% in 12 cities by 2050 at last Friday's Hydrogen Economy Committee meeting. The global hydrogen market is projected to reach trillions of dollars by 2050, which is substantial considering the 600 billion US dollar chip market. And that's why the government has introduced a clean hydrogen certification system. And what can be done to encourage further growth of this economy at home? Well, governments, government officials and experts alike say that investment is key. According to one expert, while there have been efforts to increase investment, there needs to be support specifically geared towards helping local companies develop technology that can produce, transfer and utilize hydrogen on their own. Here's what he said. If the government supports technology development and regulatory measures, I believe that within five to six years, we'll be able to use renewable energy like hydrogen as safely as we currently do fossil fuels. With support in the form of policies, funds and initiatives like Hydrogen Cities, Korea's hydrogen economy is expected to soon reach its full potential. All right. Thank you, Sujin, for the report today. Thank you for having me.